And so even though like, you know, Eddie Van Halen would be the reason I play guitar as a kid in high school, John Williams would be the reason I loved music. You know, he kind of like started my heart beating. Really? Definitely. Huh. Man. I mean, me and about a million other composers, but you know. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) And and you were seven years old and you knew you had a true north of like. Yeah. I mean, I didn't, you would, I wouldn't have been the kid that said, what do you want to do when you grow up? And I would have been, I wouldn't have been seven saying like, I want to write music for movies, but I was like, that sound is in my head all the time when I'm riding my bike. Yeah. I hear John Williams when I'm in the woods dreaming of spooky stories. I hear, you know, it was just, yeah. it was, it was, in, it was infusing. Yeah. I love that. And then it would be years later that I would go, Oh, that's what I want to do. Mm-hmm. You know? Yeah. And you grew up as a guitar player originally, right? Yeah. Pre yeah. pre composer, pre producer. Yeah. Yeah. Although I always say that, um, you know, I started playing guitar in high school really because I, I stopped playing baseball. I was this baseball fanatic kid. And all of a sudden I just stopped. I didn't try out. And mm-hmm. I think my mom knew that a bored high school kid is probably the worst thing that can happen. Right. You know? And so my mom was like, Hey, if I pay for guitar lessons, would you take them? And that just so happened that I had discovered Van Halen's right. music. And so it was sort of like guitar, Van Halen, this is fun. Yeah. Um, and so um, that would be why I played. But it was funny because guitar for me was really about finding my own voice and about, even though I like to learn everybody's riffs, I wanted to write my own riff. I wanted yeah. to be the guy that wrote a riff that the next generation of kiddos would want to play. Yeah. So Were guitar you- was more of like a creative avenue more than a virtuosic yeah you know were you better and we'll talk about van halen a little bit more i know you and i have that (laughs) yeah we have that in common um were you more of hey i want to create my own thing or an imitator i want to i want to i'm better at imitating people well that's a great question because you know what i mean yeah some people are really good imitators imitation is a really important trait to have to a degree, but it also can become a prison. Um, For me, I was a good imitator. I was a good imitator of a lot of things, especially as a young composer. And that's ultimately what got me work. And it's what got me hired to become a ghostwriter. But the gentleman I worked for is that I could imitate a lot. I could, I could listen to a piece of music and I could understand what makes it tick. Right. So the biggest part- And I'm not saying it's bad being imitated. There is a time- to imitate and well, to figure uh, other people's there, processes there is. out. Right. And, and I think ultimately for me, the biggest part of my journey was figuring out how to be me. Yeah. Um, and that and it's taken, you know, I'm not going to lie. It's taken 25 years for me to figure out totally who it. am I? What do I have to say? How can I kind of honor my influences, yeah. but still pursue something that I feel is artistically satisfying. Mm. And yeah. so the same would be true for guitar. There were a lot of guitar players I could imitate. And you would go, oh, man, your phrasing really sounds like so-and-so. Right. And all of a sudden, I'm like, my gosh, well, who am I? If I yeah. don't have anything to say, this stinks. And who cares? Like, if you're the 400th best who cares? Pat Metheny clone or Van Halen clone, it's like, who cares? okay, you got to get in the game sometime. So you might yeah. as well stand on your own feet yeah, sooner rather than later. Totally. You know, it's funny. Yeah. Rolling Stone once they put out this thing, they of like the you know, hundred best guitar players of all time. And you could argue the list, whether it's valid or not, but sure. they had it, they had it like grouped into like shredders, super shredders, blues guys, and innovators. And uh, it was funny because all of the guitar players I liked fell into the innovator category. Huh, interesting. Um, and so it's important. It's like, you don't have to be the best, but yeah. have something to say, have something right. to say that's your own. You know? Yeah. It's funny. Cause those kind of, originals those forces of nature the the zappas the pat Matheny's, the people that came out of the shoot just being themselves van halen was like that too. yeah eddie's like that but it's like those are the people it's like the originals yeah they're not they're not trying to be chameleons or squishy they're they're like this is my voice this is what i do yeah yeah and speaking of van halen what was kind of your what records uh, meant the most to you growing up? What were your? Well, you know, it's funny because I, I have this saying that like um, the the power of the first mention, I feel like the power of the first mention hmm. is so important for, you know, whether you're a kid, they, they hear you, your version. Tell they, me what that is. I, I well, like, you know, for, for most children, the first mention is going to be from their parents 
whether it's the lens of religion or the lens of politics or okay. the lens of money. And, and that is going to be how, you know, if your parents are affiliated with a certain political party, you will have that leaning just because they were the first ones to say yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, okay. And um, for me, Diver Down was, I was, mm. that's, that's the record that had, was out when I discovered Van Halen. And so I have this leaning to Diver Down, Diver Down. Right. Um, Fair Warning would become my favorite record of all time for Van Halen. I yeah. loved the tenacity of that. But, but again, Diver Down. So I showed, what, what record do I show my kids when it was time to show them Van Halen? I showed them Diver Down. Yeah, I love that. So they, their first, the power of the first mention for them becomes the same thing for me, you know? Yeah, that's great. A lot of people kind of poo-poo Diver Down. I can understand why. <clears throat> and I mean, yes, it's like, what, 28 minutes long? Sure, it's a lot of a cover long, tunes. Not a long record. But if you wait it, you know, with, you know, music nowadays or whatever, however you want to wait things, it's like there are some... Hang them high on that. On oh, that hang record. them high. My little it's, son thinks that riff's the coolest riff cathedral. in the world. Cathedral. Yeah, it's so cool. I mean, it's like, if you just take those two songs, it's like, dude, those are brilliant secrets. Yeah. I mean, those those are classic. And, and a lot of people miss, to me, the thing beyond all the whammy bar, tapping, yeah. blah, 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 spandex pants, whatever, the Jack Daniels bass, the thing people miss the most and that I think is the differentiator for Van Halen is their songs. Yeah. They wrote songs when people were just writing riffs yeah. and, and writing excuses to solo. Right. You know, those songs Absolutely. hold up secrets. Yep. I mean, hang them high secrets. They're just fantastic compositions that nobody talks about. They're like, Oh, well, Eddie did this yeah. for yeah. 30 years. And it's like, well, yeah, but he built a foundation of songs that really hold up through time. So totally agree. Um, yeah, totally agree. Yeah. So you're diver down. Fair warning. Yeah, that's nice. me. I wasn't much of the Hagar era. I, I uh, no, dude. I'm I'm with you. I uh, I kind of it kind of lost me, and I, I've never even acknowledged that to my children. So I don't. I it's not even part of canon, I guess. And, canon, yes. I'm with you. <laughs> so I'm with I I've. And we'll get off Van Halen. Yeah, we'll get off Van Halen. It's not when, fair. To, it's not. When we got married, when Rob and I got married, she was not aware of Van Halen at all. Nor was my wife. So, no. so, so we did this thing called Van Halen School, to yeah. where we'd, we'd talk about one thing for I don't know. It was kind of funny, but um, that's good. Yeah, those records. It's funny how much they hold up. Yeah, they still and, hold up. And um, Ted Templeman and Don Landy, I, I, th I think, played a larger role than people give them credit for. Absolutely. So, yeah. yeah. That's great. So coming up with guitar and becoming a scoring composer, those are like very different DNA head spaces. How did you, how did you go from guitar guy into John Williams land? What is yeah. that, what was that um, path like for you? 